Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. And welcome back to the Premier Auto Event of the Year. Dozens of cars were revealed this week, and automakers work really hard to keep those new cars classified and under wraps for their big debut. You know, they want to keep their secrets, but car spies are constantly trying to expose those secrets. Vic Faust joins us now with more on the covert operations of spy photographers. Didn't even know there was such a thing, Vic. I didn't either, but it sounds like it's one of the coolest jobs in the world. Look at this Camaro that I found, and you know what? I've got an operation going here. They've let me pop the hood on this, check out the engine on that. Just one of the things that a person that we're going to show you right now gets a chance to uncover. He's always got his eye out for camo covered cars. There's bursts of action where all of a sudden all heck breaks loose and you're flailing for the camera trying to get the shot of the car that just drove by. Brian doesn't want to show his face and tip off automakers to his identity, but he's willing to share the excitement of being a car spy. If it's a car I've never seen before or a vehicle I've never seen, I feel like my heart is going to jump out of my chest. He makes a living revealing what's under that camouflage. It's hiding the body lines of the car, and then it's also hiding whatever changes they made to the vehicle. And it's kind of like a taboo. It's like something the car maker doesn't want you to see, but you're seeing it. He snapped a lot of first photos auto enthusiasts go nuts over. I was the guy that photographed the Batmobile. I just photographed the ATSB coupe before it debuted at the LA Auto Show with absolutely no camouflage on it. I was the guy that caught the Mustang at the track uh, with the whole front end exposed. Brian sells his shots to Motor Trend, Car and Driver, Road and Track. He spends his days staking out car testing facilities in Southeast Michigan and all over the country. And it's not always glamorous. A lot of food from gas stations. A lot of windshield time, a lot of looking through the windshield. And I watch a lot of Netflix. He's on the road half the year and will go to extremes to get a photo. I hiked through uh, the Angels Crest Forest in LA and uh, I got poison ivy all over my body. That was the ATSV coupe. So I did come away with the photos, but I also came away with poison ivy. But he's got limits. A spy shot isn't worth getting a ticket or going to jail for. Brian got his start nine years ago when he took a shot of a camouflaged car and learned he could get paid for it. I got hooked on it and here I am today. I love it. Brian says while there's only a few full-time spy photographers out there, the competition is tough. Worldwide, I think there's about 12 to 15 of us. First shot makes the money. So if you don't have the first photos, you're not making money. Cool job, it's a tough job, and you have to have a heart for cars, which he does. And I tell you what, nothing camouflaged tonight. Lots of beautiful cars that we're showing you. Alicia, let's check in with you over at Lincoln. What's going on? I am having a ball here, okay, because I get to play around with the brand new next generation MKX that just came out this week on Tuesday here at the North American International Auto Show. And did you notice that? That was a hands-free lift gate. You just hold the key fob touch your foot underneath it and it opens right up. So great when you're loading groceries or kids stuff, that kind of thing. And you see this button right here. This allows you to program it to whatever height you want. So if you want it to be just like here, you could do that, it's real easy. Press twice and it closes. Now over here, I want to show you this. This is great. It has an exclusive Rebel Ultima sound system in it. There are 19 of these speakers in this vehicle. And so you really, it's, it's kind of like a home theater right in your car in terms of audio quality. It's amazing. There's also a smartphone app that has great connectivity. And my favorite part, there are inflatable air bladders in the seats, so you actually can get a massage while you're driving. How about that, Stephen and Carolyn? Oh, I love that. I know, right? All right. You wouldn't even want to get out of your car, huh? I, truly, I'm just sitting in the carport all night long. There you go. My problem is I may take a nap, you know, when I'm driving along at a massage like That'll that. That'll work, so. too. All right. Hey, uh, fly yellow, race red, sublime green cars come in some pretty awesome colors. Uh, next, what inspires a particular hue and colors that are in high demand this year? I wrote this song just looking at you. Oh, oh, yeah, the drums they swing low and the trumpets they go. 
Welcome back. Such a fine bunch of people out there. They look beautiful. We Everybody. Call, we kind of call this the auto prom. Uh, and what goes through your mind when you decide what color you want to choose for the night? Because for guys, it's really easy. We go for black, white. That's pretty simple. But when it comes to the ladies, you certainly don't want to repeat the same color from last well. year if you were here at the auto show. And you definitely want to stand out. But color is not just a big concern when you're choosing a gown, Steve. Right. It's, it's also, also important. Yeah. When you're it's also your car. very important yeah. when you choose an ever new car. Hey, we're surrounded by a rainbow of color choices tonight. And Joanne, what color car are you in right now? Oh, I, I'm right next to one. I'm not allowed in it, unfortunately, but is this gorgeous? This is the Acura NSX, a just gorgeous candy apple red. A big reveal here this week, this was. By the way, uh, Jerry Seinfeld was at the auto show this week. Apparently, he was checking out the Acura NSX. So that's a beautiful color for sure. But I asked you earlier in the show what you thought was the most popular color of cars in America, what Americans buy more of. Well, guess what? You're looking at it. It's the color white. But even so, there really still is a yearning. Woo! Almost fell. Excuse me. These days, oh, for bold and bright colors. Take a look as I recover. We're certainly seeing more color and more types of color and more um, ranges of color. Some of our brighter colors like oranges, coppers, yellows, those are colors that we call trend colors. We have the electric spice that's come out on the edge and that's certainly making a statement. We have a color called carrot gold and that was very controversial. I've had more letters written into the company about customers who absolutely love this color. They're buying vehicles because of this color. What we're seeing in terms of trends is much more of an acceptance of chromatic color, saturated color, and color in a variety of spaces. Designers at General Motors say they're seeing variety in even the more traditional colors. Maybe there really are 50 shades of gray. In the area of gray now, not so much pure in terms of what it does in its color space, but it will it'll have a lot more influence of blue, a lot more influence of green, um, and you can even see it here at the show today. Car designers look beyond the auto industry for clues to emerging color trends. We're looking at multiple industries. You know, what's going on in fashion? We look at architecture, we look at product design, we look at technology design. We look at home furnishings. Now we look and see what people are blogging about. We might look at the product they're talking about. We might look at, you know, what people are wearing, what's going on in the um, movie industry. You know, what's, what are the trends that are out there? At General Motors, we have the luxury in global design to have seven design studios around the world in color and trim. So collectively, we're looking at trends all over the globe and melting all of that together to create new collections. I think when a colour can really show off the form and really talk to and speak to the brand and what the persona of that vehicle is, just as if you were addressing a person to complement their personality, I think you truly have a beautiful marriage between the colour and the form. All right, truth be told, I've left the display with a hole in it and I've moved to the carpet, much more comfortable. I did move over here actually because I wanted to show you this car. We talk about colors. Does this not look like they in the in the lab, they took a bunch of green and a bunch of yellow and combined it together? This is the Honda Fit, an eye-catching color, and you'll see a lot of that if you head down to the auto show when it opens to the public starting tomorrow. A lot of other eye-popping and wonderful <laughs> sights tonight is on the red carpet, and we send it over now to Brad and Glenda for a look at some of the fashions. Joanne, talk about taking what's on the road right to the runway. This is some creative beauty right here. The CEO of Intiva, a tier one automotive supplier, is with me right now, and he partners with an up and coming new designer. Her name is Jan. I hope you saw their story earlier. And here are some of their designs. These are actual car parts. Oh yeah. This is this is our highest technology, material technology for interiors products that Jana and her team have created into beautiful creations of elegance. Uh, so we want to see the ladies step up, please, and even the neck pieces. Jana, where do you come with these ideas? 
I just, I don't know, I get a hold of vintage things and I made jewelry and so when this came up, I can't use conventional materials. It's just not in my nature. I have to use something different and unusual and it really inspires me. So, it, and this material is just amazing to use. This looks like a cool leather seat or something. Do a <laughs> twirl for me. You have to. It works on the red carpet wow. too, especially at an event like that. It twirls, it works, and Sam and Taylor are the models. Taylor, you have people wearing nice dresses out here. What did you say when they had you put on a car part for dress? I love this dress. It's really comfortable to wear, and it's honestly awesome. I really love it. A lot of head-turning looks tonight so far, Glenda, for these two. Yeah, Stephen and Carolyn, how about a little seat on your back? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those are some cool designs. And, you know, Anna Roselli always talks about having designers right here in Michigan. You don't have to go to New York. You don't have to yep. go to Italy. You can do it right here in Michigan. Right, Glenda? Yes. And this is evident. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Everybody's looking great. Thank you very much, Glenda. Well, innovation and fuel efficiency and carbon emissions are driving the car market right now, for sure. And Vic is with a company whose aim is to create cutting-edge car technology for day, today and for tomorrow. Vic? Thanks, Stephen and Carolyn. As you can see and hear, the party is going on. We're in the ZF booth right now, and joining me is President Julia Kaspari. What an exciting time. 14 years with the auto show already, huh? Yeah, we are very happy here. It's, uh, we are at the show floor, and uh, yeah, we have a lot of interesting technologies to show to our customers. Not only do you have the technology, talk about this cutting-edge technology, this fuel-efficient technology. Yeah, and that's our main task. Uh, that's the driving factor for uh, the current uh, vehicles. So everybody is looking for fuel savings, and uh, that's what we're bringing into the market. Doesn't it blow your mind where technology is gone? <laughs> no. Uh, sometimes I get the question, how many gears are we going to have in the future? We are at nine gears, for example, and there's new uh, suppliers coming with 10 gears. But I think we have reached uh, probably the, the, the limit of how many gears we will have. Well, you're not sitting back. Tell us about acquiring TRW. Yes, we are looking into the future and we are seeing that the technology is moving uh, and going into a different direction. We will see much more autonomous driving in the future and that drove us into uh, a new arena. And with that, we decided to acquire TRW. And you can always tell how successful a company is. 100 years, you've got a big signing 100 back here. If you want to go ahead and sign it because everybody's encouraged to come by the ZF booth, sign your name. Julia's going to do it right now, and I'll follow him as well. Go on over and sign your uh, 100. Thanks for your time. Yes, I would like to invite our friends to come here and sign together with me. All right, Julia's doing it right now, as you can see, guys. We'll catch back up with you. Stephen and Kellen, we'll send it back to you. All right, I'm just uh, checking out the selfies here. We're taking selfies. I see a lot of cool ones, huh? Hashtag 7 Auto Show and see, uh, send your selfie so we can take a look at you also. Hey, anybody else hungry? Hey, I could use a cheeseburger right about now, but coming up next, we're going to go in the Kobo's exclusive tasting room to get a look at what the chefs are serving up tonight. Oh, it's good, too.